I've got something standing next to me that I want to show you. This is a flyaway base that Stanley Clark has taken around the world and around the world again. Over the past three years, he has done over 300 performances. It's been to North America, coast to coast. It's been to Asia. It's been to Russia, Europe. This base has been everywhere. And I just wish that I'd made an agreement to take a percentage of the money they saved on airline fees. Paying excess baggage fees, maybe for the oversize, is a whole lot less than trying to travel with a, uh, a full-size base trunk. So let's take a look at just how well this case has survived after being loaded, unloaded, in and out of taxi cabs, dropped, kicked, slid across the tarmac, and basically abused by every transportation agency in the world, like every other piece of luggage. Let's see what's going on. Take a look at the corners. The corners are worn, there's no doubt about that, but the structure underneath remains intact. The handles are still working, they're, st they're sturdy, and there's nothing sticking out. There's no protrusions to get scraped off like so many other cases have. There never were any hinges or latches to be broken, so that's all still intact. The lid is held on very well with Velcro. At the same time, over these past three years, some improvements have been made. Here's an instrument that has stood up to the abuse of road work very well. And it's been well taken care of with the uh, shoulder drape on here. Why, uh, there's certainly no scratches here on this side. I see a few fingernail marks around here, but that has nothing to do with travel. The disastrous damage that could normally occur to an upright base on the road is, for example, the bridge being pushed through the top. Well, this is all still perfect. There never was a bridge <laughs> during, during transportation. The bridge wasn't there. With the neck disconnected, that didn't break. So the body of this base has just withstood this travel marvelously. Someday, a forklift is going to drive through one of these cases, and nothing's going to stop that. But still, to this date, we have had zero damage, not only on this base, but on every flyaway base that has gone out of here. Zero damage in transit. Seeing this base and this case has really built my confidence that the flyaway base system is a roadworthy system, and I hope it's built your confidence as well.